stepping up in class for this lunch here. Mel, a man who cruised through 46 tests for Australia. He's part of the seven cricket commentary team. Of course, it's Greg Blewett. Bluey, thanks for joining me this afternoon. No worries, Flem. 23 years ago, on 23. debut at 23. Scary. At home here against the Poms, you made your test match debut. Can you remember much about the build-up? Oh, well, I would played a few Australia A games, yeah. so I did okay in a couple of those games, and there was a little bit of talk about maybe me playing as the all-rounder in the test match. And I'm like, well, I'm not an all-rounder for a start, but I'd have a, I'll have a game over, if they pick me. out of 50 over cricket. That's yeah. right. So, um, anyway, it happened. I was in great form, and, um, and playing England... At the Adelaide Oval was just a was just a doesn't dream get day, any better. We lost the game though. That was yeah, the only bummer. Yeah, can we just rewind a little bit here? You're going a bit <laughs> forward. Four for 207. You walk out to bat. You're batting with Steve Wall. Good partnership with Ian Healy. And then the tails started to let you down, didn't they? They did. I reckon I was in the 90s overnight. But as you said, we still had wickets in hand. Still had you to come. Yeah. You, still confident. had Shane Warne to Warning. come. A few of those sort of guys. Craig McDermott. I thought no problems. Yep. Then I knew I had Peter McIntyre up my sleeve. So. It was sweet as, and then, um, yeah, you let me down, you bloke. So yeah, I, I think we've got some vision, I think, bit. of uh, maybe Shane Warne getting out here, but um, maybe not. Is it getting... Here, have a look. Is that Warney? Oh, it's me. Ouch. I've been stitched up here. Well, that was your, uh, what do you call it? Your little Gordon Greenwich down uh, down the leg side. The pull but... scoop. Do you, do you try and pull Devin Malcolm fourth uh, ball for a duck? Well, Devin was bowling. I reckon he had a bit of reverse swing going at the moment there. And um, what, well, why don't you talk us through it, Flem? What were you... Where would that have gone if you actually hit it properly? That would have went Maybe over straight down fine leg throat. That actually would have went over first slip's head. Oh, That's right. how much I was Off the scooping. Back of the bat. Right. Hey mate, so you lose some wickets and you're joined by another debutant, Peter McIntyre, with a first class average of eight. What was the banter out in the middle? Were you confident he could get your tears hundred? No. Um, <laughs> but what I was hoping for, Flem, was for him to come down after he'd faced a couple of balls and go, Bluey, you know what? I'm here for you, mate. I'm going to do whatever I can. I'm going to keep them out. Good but on we him. came down after the first over. And literally, his eyes had glazed over. And he said, mate, if you don't get this within the next couple of balls, I am not going to last. So <laughs> hurry up. And uh, luckily, luckily, I got there. And it, uh, yeah, pretty special moment. I didn't try and carry on too much like a Michael Slater. I thought, no, I'm just going to be uh, reasonably humble about this. But um, yeah, let the boys know on the hill that, uh, yeah, great memories. Well, you're a, you're a good looking dude. I noticed how you got the helmet straight off. <laughs> Well, that's what that you do. That was what the cameraman wanted, didn't that's they? That's what you do, mate. I generally kept it on there. Right, okay. Hey, I suppose for the Australian cricket public, um, we have guys that play one or two test matches, and they'd be saying, where is Peter McIntyre right now? You know, what would he be doing? Yeah. Um, to... <laughs> is that... Hey, what? hello, <laughs> fellas. I thought it was Kojak. <laughs> Macca, when did you do the slip yeah. in there? Good to oh, see you. Good to see you. Good see you. Good Thanks to see for joining you us. Yeah. Mate, you got him to 100. What, yep. what were your memories of the banter out in the middle? Yeah, look, I'd been ele elevated from number 11 to 10. Uh, Billy McDermott <laughs> had a supposed uh, twisted bow <laughs> and turned out all he needed was a laxative. And so, but <laughs> I, I came in at 10 and uh, I was pretty confident. And then I saw... Debbie Malcolm up close and I got a little bit nervous <laughs> and started shaking and I said to Bluey, you've got to get on with this. <laughs> got to get, and, we'd, and I'd taken him out the night before in his 90 to celebrate and, <laughs> yes, you know, and, and we, was, we, we weren't seeing them, well I wasn't seeing them that well. But, <laughs> but you, you got know, him there and in yeah. hindsight you said Debbie Malcolm was quite easy to play. Well, yeah, can you explain this vision that we've got of you taking him down? This is peak at McIntyre, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, that's... Uh, that's a big off cutter there, Flem. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he was difficult out of the hand, Big Devi. Just a bit late on that one. Uh, yeah. And Macca, also, there's an urban myth here at South Australia that you are fourth day Mac, and on turning yes. pitches at the Adelaide Oval, you actually grew a fifth finger. This finger was actually invisible to the naked eye. Can you that, explain that, is, that, that please? That is fact, Flem, and uh, I would have the first three days off, and fourth day Mac had come in, and it was my day, basically. And uh, I, I loved it here at Adelaide Oval. And yes, there was a little finger that used to pop out as the fifth, fifth finger. And uh, okay, I think we used to have might, a lot of fun. Yeah, we might wrap this up one right now. <laughs> Boys, great to see you. Bluey, 100 on debut. Macca, a pair on debut. A, pair, a yeah, couple yeah, of wickets yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. But um, thanks for joining us, boys. Uh, can't <laughs> wait to the next guest, Mal. We're